Okay, so now we know what is constructor, right? But what about this? I mean, can I pass the values here? What if I don't want to assign values like 12 and John? What if I want to customize it? So what I want is every time I create the object, I should have an option of passing those values, not 12 and John every time. Can we do that? Of course, you can assign the values later with the help of set methods. But what if I have an idea where, hey, you know, I, okay, let's, let's go with this object as well, the second object. And in the second object, I want to pass the values. The first object, I want it to be default. The second object, I want the age to be, let's say 18, and the name should be, let's say Naveen. Can we do that? If you can see, this line is giving you error. It says, hey, you know, you don't have a constructor which accepts two values. So those two values of type integer and string, you don't have it. And if you go up, actually you don't have it. You don't have a constructor which takes two parameters. Can we do that? Let's try. So I will say public human, and I want this human to take two parameters. So I will say int a comma string name. And then here I can just come back and I can say age is equal to a. So not the default value which I want to assign here. I want to assign the value which is sent by the main method. So if you can see, we are passing 18 and Naveen here, right? So I can just go back here and age is equal to a, name is equal to n. Now, if you look at this particular constructor here, it is taking some parameter. So this constructor is called a parameterized constructor. Oh, I should say this is n. Now, what is the difference between normal constructor and a parameterized constructor is, in fact, this normal constructor is also called a default constructor. Now we'll discuss why this calls default constructor. So this is called a default constructor. This is called a parameterized constructor because we have parameters there and whatever value you pass here will be assigned. Now you can use both syntax. You can either create an object by not specifying any parameter or arguments, and you can create a object with the help of values, which we are passing it here. So this is parameterized and this is default. Now what I will do just to explain this is I will just copy the same line and I will print the values for obj1 this time, not for obj, obj1. So basically we are printing both and let's see what the output is. Compile, run. You can see we got the first object drawn 12. The second object is not John and 12, it is Naveen and 18 because you are passing those values. Now what I will do is time and I will remove this part just to explain you something. See when I mentioned that every time, let me just comment this section as well. See, every time you create the object, it will call the constructor, right? But then if you see, I have removed the constructor. Will this work? And it was working before. Remember when we started this example of human, we were not having any constructor. It was still working. At this point, your Java will say, hey, don't worry. If you don't mention constructor there, I will create a constructor for you. And that's why we say that's a default constructor. So behind the scene, you will get this constructor here, which is public human. This is what you will get, even if you don't mention, okay? The only thing is it will be default. It will be blank if you don't mention. But if you want to do something, of course, you have to mention that explicitly. And we can use the same code or I can actually ask my IDE to give me the code. So you can simply go to source and action and you can say, hey, I want to create a constructor but which constructor? So I want a constructor which takes both these arguments and I also want a default constructor. Source action, I want a constructor which is default. You can see we got two constructors. There's only one change. The syntax which we have returned was a and name. And here if you can see we have age and name. And to make it work, we have to use this keyword. I hope you remember this keyword video previously. And that's how it works. It, has the same way which works. The only thing is we have to assign the values here. I will say age is equal to 12 and the name is John. So that's how we can basically use a default constructor and a parameterized constructor. Of course, we can create some more constructor here. What if you want to just specify the name, not the role number? So you can say, I want a constructor source action and I want a constructor which takes only name. So you can, you can see we got a constructor which only takes a name. Now what happens to this type of objects? Example, if I create an object here, uh, let's say the second object, and this time I'm not passing two values. I'm just passing one value, which is name. In this case, the age will be zero. So what you can do is even if you're accepting name, you can assign the age by yourself. You can say 12. You can say age because there's no confusion, or you can also say this dot age just to maintain the uniformity. 
Okay, uh, so that's how we use constructors, default constructors, parameterized constructors, and yeah, that's it.